Time for you to get out of here. What you doing, man? man? Why are you all getting up on me? I don't feel comfortable with you pointing that gun my way. Why are you going for your gun, man? Why are you? Oh, oh, shut up! Welcome to First Person Defender. Why are you going for it? Where regular people come face to face oh, with unknown attackers in real world scenarios and fight their way out. This is First Person Defender. Sometimes it's better to walk away. Doug is a hunter and has experience with guns. Today he'll be challenged to make a life or death decision. This force on force training uses real firearms converted to fire marking cartridges. The crew wears yellow shirts and are considered to be invisible to role players. This scenario has Doug walk into a box type deer stand. He's carrying his hunting rifle and also carries a handgun. He's in for a surprise. Whoa, man, what the f are you doing? Hey. Whoa, whoa, it's private property, man. Hey, don't pull that gun at me. This is my stand, dude. I've been hunting here all my life. I'm sorry, man. This is my stand, too. This and ain't it, your stand? Who's in it? Hey, can you place your gun down, please? What the hell am I going to place my gun for? You on my, This is my stand, man. I've been deer hunting here my whole life. I understand you're deer hunting. I don't need that gun pointed at me. It's not pointed at you. It's pointed down at the ground, man. I'd, Why are you getting off at me? Hey, I'd feel better if you put the gun down. Bullshit, man. Please, come on. Dude, you, you need to get out of here. All right, look. Let me grab my gun. Bullshit. I'll be I ain't, don't you touch that gun. This is my gun. It looks like mine now. You lean it on. This is where I'm hunting. This is my land. This is my stand. You should not be in Dude, here. Dude, it's time for you to get out of here. Don't you do it, man. Look. It's time. Keep walking Hey, you're making a move. I'm not making my moves. You're making yours. Don't make me come down there, man. It's time for you to get out of here. I'm not going back that way without that gun. In fact, you can leave that other gun, too. Hey, I'm not leaving this one. What you doing, man? man? Why are you all getting up on me? I don't feel comfortable with you pointing that gun my way. Why are you going for your gun, man? Why are you going for it? Index, index, index. Tell me about what happened. Well, I came up to the stand. Well, I did not expect someone to be in it. <laughs> <laughs> he was being very irate with me for no reason, I felt like. He had the gun pointed my way a good bit. He, he wasn't letting me leave with my gun, so I felt like I'd <laughs> I had to do what I had to do. You really wanted that gun, didn't you? Yeah, I'm not. that's my property. I'm not leaving without it. You had to shoot a man over it, though. Here's what I'm gonna tell you. I was standing off to the side, I watched the entire exchange. He gave you several opportunities to leave, which you could have, okay? But in the gunfight, it looked like you took him down, okay? But he shot first. Right. He shot first because as soon as you went for that gun, that's when you were really, really close to him, and he had that high power rifle, and he shot first. At the very least, we've got a bad trade. Right. Even though you got him, you it's likely that you could have been hit. Um, did you feel like you got hit at all? Yeah, I got hit on the hand. So it's a bad trade. Right. It's a bad trade. So if he did take the rifle and you left, what would be your next move after you leave? Call the authorities and report a stolen rifle. Right. Not and, a, and, a, and a trespasser. Right. Not a huge deal right. and you'd still have your hand. Right. A lot of our viewers like to stash guns around the house for safety, but you also have to stash them safely. You know, keep them away from kids or whoever else. So here's an easy way to do it. The Liberty HDX 150, it has the biometric, but it also has a backup key lock, and you can stash your guns in there. What I would do is probably get two or three of these and put them at strategic places in the house. It's also small enough that if you wanted to bring it to your car, it's very portable, do it that way. Keep your guns safely stashed for safety in a safe way. Now we have masks on in these scenarios, so it's really hard to determine that intent when you look at their eyes. Right. But you can always tell when somebody's crazed, can't you? I mean, have you been around long enough? Absolutely. 
So if we could tell, determine his intent from his eyes, like he really just wants me to leave, man, discretion is the better part of valor. Run, run, run away and live the fight another day. Now, if he was really intent on hurting you and you could kind of pick up on that, like you didn't think you were gonna get out of here alive, that's gonna be your best opportunity to draw and fire and right. maybe get off the attack line. Cause you're right here, he's gonna present his rifle to you, right? Right. But we're here, he's got a right-handed shooter, he's got the muzzle down. So if you moved a certain way, it's very easy for him to twist and track. Right. But if you move the other way, it's not as easy for him to twist and track. Right. So I don't have a holster on, but I'm gonna okay. show you a technique. As you're doing this, okay, 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 I'll give you my other gun. You could be doing something like this and setting your feet up for the movement. Mm -hmm. And as soon as that gun comes out, you can say, I'll give it to you, I'll give it to you, I'll give it to you. And now maybe I get shots on him before he can present that rifle. Just go ahead and put that gun down. You can leave that rifle right where it's at. Go right. on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Go put on. my gun on the Yo, ground. Do it already. Here. Get Get that pistol out, do it. Now think about it, set yourself up for that, for that explosive movement because as that pistol comes out, explosive movement off that attack line. All right, go on, get out of here. Leave that pistol too, go on, all right. leave that pistol. I'll put, the, hey, I'll put the gun on the ground. get it out of the holster. All right, all right, I'll put it on the ground. Take that pistol ground. out of the holster. Good job. So, if you had to fight, that would be a way to fight. Right. But if you could get away from it, the best thing is probably to get away and call authorities. Right. First Person Defender brought to you by Smith & Wesson, Gundelio, Simunition, and XS Sykes. So one of the big points of contention with this is Doug didn't want to leave his rifle behind, but he took it off and he set it down to go ahead and climb up into his stand. So I don't like taking my rifle off if I don't have to. So you get yourself a good two-point adjustable sling. And you can cinch it up nice and close to your body. Now I can climb my ladder up into my hide, go on my merry way. But he gets to his hide, the jerk is up there, right? Getting aggressive. This should not have ended up in a shooting, all right? Use your head. Hey man, really sorry to disturb you. I'm just gonna go ahead and sneak out nice and quietly. You enjoy the rest of your hunt. Go out to the trailhead, and that's when you tactically, with a good draw stroke, remove your iPhone, get it up in your workspace, with good trigger finger discipline, dial 911, and you call the police, all right? And you wait up the trailhead, you wait for the police to arrive, you give them the story, they go get this guy, you get your rifle back, and you get to go home to your family. Not everything needs to be met with aggression um, and, and violence, all right? Sometimes the best decision to make is be the nice guy, all right? Walk away, live to fight another day. Can an AR-15 be good for home defense? Heck yeah, it can. We've talked before about the differences in the length of an AR-15 versus a pistol at full extension, and it's really not that much longer. You also have more ammo capacity, which we like, and more power. And if you load it with the right loads, like varmint loads, it gives you plenty of power, but it won't go through all the walls in your house. We've tested this. Low recoil, lots of power, what's not to like? The AR-15 for home defense. For the second scenario, Doug was told to do the same thing, just to get into his deer stand. He's expecting the same threat, but that's not how we do things on FBD. What you doing in my stand? Hey, this is my stand. What are you talking about? Bullshit, dude. I was coming out here to hunt. This is my stand. This isn't your land. This is my land. 
Just because you say it, point at it, say it's your stand, doesn't mean it's yours. I was here first. I can show you proof that it's my land. I don't know. Man, get out of here. This you. is my stand. I'm hunting here this afternoon. I no, saw a not. big buck this morning, man. That's mine. Go ahead, get out of here. No. Dude, I'm hunting here. Look, you're running off all the deer. You're running off the Quit deer. Quit yelling at me. You, don't you walk or get near me. Look, I don't I don't like that. Put your gun down. Don't come towards me. You're the one that came up running. Yeah, because there's some hole in my stand. I was walking up to my stand. This is my stand. That may be, but I'm hunting it this afternoon, so get out of here. Look, let me grab my gun, I'll be out. Bullshit, dude. I'm not gonna let you shoot me. I'm not gonna shoot you. Get out of here. That gun's unloaded. I'll grab it and I'll leave. How am I supposed to tell it's unloaded? I'll show you. Yeah, you touch that gun, you're getting shot. Get out of here. Look, I don't want any problems. Look, dude, my gun. Get out of here. Oh, you got another gun on you? Look. Go ahead, man. What? What you gonna do? Shoot me? I'm not gonna shoot you. Look, what you I got, got that other gun up. for? I got my hands up. Where you going, man? It's just a sorrow, man. I'm leaving. Get out of here. Don't you I'm come going. back and hunt this stand. Look, I'm going right now. Go on. I am. Index. 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 What happened? <laughs> Man. Well, what were you expecting and then tell me what happened? I was thinking he was gonna be up there again and I didn't see him at all over there. When I set my rifle down and went halfway, got halfway up the ladder and swung the door open, that's when I, I heard him run up and he was going in my stand. What's faster, action or reaction? Action. Yeah, so who had the action part on you? He did. Yeah. You wanna get shot with that rifle? I do not. So why did, why did you not want to leave again? I, I guess I'm, I'm in the mindset of this is my property. Uh, not only the land, but my rifle's there as well. So I, I asked to grab my rifle again. When he did not, I just started walking back. Sometimes the more you beat around the bush and the slower you move mm -hmm. uh, when you have intentions of doing something, the more agitated people get just from you being there. Looking back on, I probably would have got gotten away a little bit quicker than I had. Um, maybe not agitate him as much. And sometimes you don't want to tell people, you know, okay, buddy, it's your land, it's your deer right. stand. You don't want to do that because sometimes that gets them cranked up too. But I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. You know, and you don't really have. Look back there. Right. You've got a big position to cover to move right. to, so you're kind of hanging out there in the breeze for a long time until you do get out of eyesight. Right. Well, I thought you did a really good job, and uh, I'm glad that you didn't go out there and get yourself in an unnecessary gunfight this time. Right.